Hi everybody, I'm Jen and welcome to another OpenSource.com Weekly Top 5. We have the full article on the website every Friday as well as the new video on our YouTube channel. Alright, let's hop right in. At number 5, we have a new author to the site, Sebastian Hahn, a senior cloud architect at Red Hat, and he shows readers how to use Docker to run Ceph. Ceph is a fully open source, object store, network block device, and file system. At number four, we take a look at the Linux game OpenTTD. Reviewer Jason Baker says it has a somewhat steep learning curve, and he shows readers how to get started playing it with screenshots of his new world. Leave him a comment if you end up giving it a try. At number three, Mike Parks of Green Shoe Garage writes that some open hardware companies and platforms have gained wide, widespread adoration and adoption, while others have not. He cites four key reasons for why the good ones succeed. Reasonable price point, easy to understand licensing, nurturing of a vocal and enthusiastic community, and finally, the passion of the developer. Read more about each of these in the article. At number two, OSCON, one of the biggest open source conferences out there, wrapped up today. Our writer on the scene was Nicole Engard this week, and she began writing her uh, articles about some talks at the conference with our readers on Thursday. She started with a summary of James Pierce's talk about the real reason Facebook does open source. You can read more of her stories and more stories like this on our site with our OSCON series. Finally, at number one, Jay LaCroix shares his Linux story with us this week in an article titled, how I finally got permission to use my own computer. The headline says it all, as Jay tells us what led him to weaning himself off Windows and going full Linux. You can read more stories like this in our series called My Linux Story. That's it for the top five, everybody. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you next time.